Number 65. The diameter of a red blood cell is about 3 times 10 to the negative 4th inches. What is its diameter in centimeters? Total conversion question, right? By the way, who can tell me the scientific term for what a red blood cell is? It is a, for all those biology people out there, it's a erythrocyte. Erythrocyte. Don't worry about that. That was just a fun little tip. Anyway, we have to convert from inches to centimeters, right? They talk about the diameter of a red blood cell, which is three times 10 to the negative fourth inches, and they say, what is this diameter in centimeters? So here's my red blood cell. What a cute little red blood cell. The diameter, which means from one point to the other, the full distance, is three times 10 to the negative fourth inches and we need to convert that into centimeters. So for every conversion factor, every converting question, I like to do a roadmap just to get my thoughts on, you know, all out on the table here. So I wanna start from inches and I'll put the actual number here. So I'll say three times 10 to the negative fourth inches and I want to go to centimeters. So I'll try to make it as easy as possible for myself and I start off with the bigger picture. I say, do I know a conversion factor between inches and centimeters directly? Well, let's look at our handy-dandy common conversion factor chart. We're talking about units of length. So I'm going to be looking in the length category. And look at the second one down, guys. It says one inch equals 2.54 centimeters exactly. That's how I would go from an inch to a centimeter and vice versa. So I will use this conversion chart. So remember, we have to use ratios to convert from one thing to another. So I can say that one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters, or since they're equal to each other, I could just flip the, the ratio and I could say 2.54 centimeters equals one inch. Both of them are correct conversions, but one of them will be used depending on how the question is formatted. So you always have to start with what you're given. And the given here was the two times 10 to the negative fourth inches. So, oh sorry, three times 10 to the negative fourth inches. Now remember, with converting, you always multiply by a ratio and you always put the inches on the bottom. Now, if I'm going too fast for you, go back to the past couple of questions. I go much more slower so that you guys can understand fully, and then I kind of gradually pick up the pace. So you don't, don't be afraid to go back. I want you to start where you're most comfortable with. Okay, but now moving back on. So inches were here. I had to put inches on the bottom to cancel out, and centimeters goes on the top. So it looks like I'm going to be using this conversion factor because inches are on the bottom and centimeters are on the top. So one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. The inches will cancel and now I'm left with centimeters and that's what the question was asking for. So I'm just gonna do straight math. Now this one, it's literally just a one in the denominator so you don't even have to worry about that. Anything times by one or divided by one is itself. So I'm just going to kind of forget that and I'm just going to multiply the numerators. So three times 10 to the negative fourth times 2.54, I get 7.62 times 10 to the negative fourth. But now we have to play the sig fig game. We only can add or we can only give the correct amount of sig figs that we were given. So use only given sig figs. You never use the sig figs that are in any of these conversion charts. They are exact numbers and they do not count towards sig fig rules. So your given was this number. Now remember, times 10 to the and the negative fourth have nothing to do with sig figs. So we just take the number that's in the front. And in this case, the three is the only number that counts, so it's one sig fig. So this answer has to be turned into one sig fig. 
So I will keep the 7, and the 6 will tell me that I actually have to round that 7 to an 8, because 6 is 5 or greater, so you have to round up. So this would be 8 times 10 to the negative 4th, and always include your units. Your unit's last standing was centimeter, so centimeter. Box that answer off, highlight it, do whatever you got to do. That's the answer to this problem. So this one was just a one-step conversion. The other ones before were like a two- and a three-stepper. So those were actually harder than this one. But anyway, guys, thanks for checking this out. Hope you understood this. So sometimes they will be, you know, one conversion, but some will be multiple conversions in one step. This one was only one. So hope you guys learned a lot. If you did, click that, click that subscribe button to have more questions coming your way so that you guys will always be in the know. I'll see you guys all in the next question. See you later.